Recognized to millions as the queen of domestic arts, Martha Stewart is a prosperous entrepreneur who created a media kingdom from scratch out of the motto, there is no place like home. But do you know that she is still the number one cook personality despite all the fraud that she was convicted of? If you want to know about it, watch this video until the end because here, I will discuss everything about Martha Stewart. Here we begin. Let's first see who Martha Stewart is. You must have seen her on TV shows or magazine covers. She is an American media businesswoman who is adequately recognized for her lifestyle brand comprising television shows, cookbooks, cookware, and more. Martha Stewart rose to significance as the writer of editions on cooking, entertaining, and adorning. She then broadened her brand to comprise a magazine and TV program, fulfilling as CEO of Martha Stewart Living on the Media. Stewart retired from her post in 2002, pursuing penalties for insider trading and was convicted to five months in jail. Martha Stewart became a self-made billionaire when her corporation, Martha Stewart Living on the Media, went public in 1999. To our surprise, its preliminary public donation lifted to $1.9 billion, and the stock ascended to an all-time high of $39.75 per investment the following day. But her net worth did considerably drop in the early 2000s, but that didn't stop her. Later on, she has since barely recuperated. Her prosperity in 2020 is computed to be around $400 million. During her apex as a well-known media tycoon, you will also see that she found her title among the world's affluent and most influential business executives on the Forbes Billionaire Catalog. In 1977, she was employed to cater for a book release episode, and at that club, she confronted Alan Merkin, who was the chief of Crown Publishing Group. This group was an assistant of Random House. On the same night, the two started having conversations considering the likelihood of announcing a cookbook based on Martha's procedures for her catering exhibitions. And that's what Martha's like. That notion bore fruit when Martha's first edition, Entertaining, was publicized in 1982. And this is because of a huge success. This edition went on to auction more than 625,000 copies. The first book is just the beginning. We got to see that from 1983 to 1989, Martha publicized various other cookbooks for another random house imprint. And during this time, Martha was gradually coming to be a family name throughout the United States. In addition to providing columns on home maintenance to newspapers and journals, Martha started to regularly appear on several well-watched TV programs, such as The Oprah Winfrey Show and Larry King Tonight. By the early 90s, she was one of the most prominent public figures in the American operating category. Still, she needed to be fulfilled. So, in an endeavor to further broaden her stretch and broaden her brand, she ratified a magazine pact with Time Incorporated. You are all aware of how famous a cook she is. Although she is technically a popular cook, Martha Stewart has overstepped that crown during her duration in entertainment. Her TV exhibit Martha Stewart Living Covered Cooking, Interior Design, and so much more. She slammed a hit on the highway in 2003 when she was impeached for corruption and obstruction of justice. But against all odds, she had her comeback almost a few years later. Now we know that she has her Martha Stewart Living magazine and website, which publicizes recipes that people can make in the solace of their residences. Furthermore, she has a modern show on HGTV called Martha Knows Best. Here, she assists in illuminating her celebrity friends' houses. It should be remarked, one of these celebrity companions is none other than Snoop Dogg who had a TV show which is popularly named Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. Moreover, they have two seasons together on VH1. As she created her industry, Stewart's perfectionism, detailed knowledge, and deep capacity for work were not universally appreciated. She was sentenced for establishing an unthinkable criterion for married working mothers, and her adoration of a home-centered validity appeared at some point backward for women. But her enthusiasts were legion and many objections were swept away by the private appeal that made her corporation commercial prosperity. One of the most popular cooks on TV, and arguably one of the greatly recognizable personalities on TV, Martha Stewart is a family name that doesn't appear to be getting on anywhere anytime soon. So that's all for today. What do you think about Martha Stewart? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon to get more uploads like this. See you soon.